what is up you guys this is Skilly from pandemic gameplay and I'm talking with Pat or his YouTube is super Sammy from FOD and he is a part of the media team for FOD he's also a director for our newest channel so uh, what's up Pat what's up Dylan <laughs> you sound like a creeper there <laughs> I know. all right uh, how, so uh, how'd you get into FOD exactly I mean, you're kind of, you're kind of, well, we're kind of doing like intros here for the new channel, but uh, just tell us a little about yourself. Well, I'm a guy, of course, you can probably tell. Uh, no, I can't tell. Damn it. <laughs> uh, well, I pretty much like found it on Google. I don't know how I, I went over it, but I found it. And um, one, of, I'm really good friends with one of the commanders. And yeah, pretty much just joined from there. How'd Man. you, how'd you get in there? Command commanders are admins, by the way. If, if people are watching that don't know that, uh, but actually, I uh, actually founded it with uh, uh, the owner of the website himself. So we were kind of we kind of made the whole thing. So I'm actually a co-founder. So good for me. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead into our uh, actual review of Modern Warfare Three. So uh, I guess I'll start off with my take of the single player, and then you can do yours. All right. All right. All right. Well, uh, I thought the single player uh, it was kind of it wasn't really that long. It was kind of short to me personally. I mean, I played all the Modern Warfare series, uh, but the single player was kind of blah. It was all right. What do you think about it? Uh, it was okay. I mean, the trophies eh, I didn't really like, but it was kind of too quick for me. Like I did it, I did it in like two days. That was like about it. Yeah, and no, it was kind of quick for me too. I mean, like that's what she said. But yeah. Yeah. I mean. Uh, like, but yes. Hit it and quit it. It was just like wow, wanted no end to it. Hit it, hit it and quit it. Yeah. Yeah, but it but, was pretty uh, fun to hang him though. Hang him off the helicopter thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was pretty fun. No, no, no spoilers there, but uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the single player. I mean, it's the same old, same old. You know, like you got to hunt down Makarov and try to kill him and everything. I mean, it's the same thing. Like with all the other first person shooters, there's a terrorist, there's a boogeyman in the world, and you got to go find him and kill him. You know. And he's gonna spend all we got oh, for you. Uh, what do you think about the multiplayer? It's okay. I mean, it could be better, but, but they're still improving on it. I mean, they're not really paying attention to PlayStation, like, more than they should be. But Yeah, I mean, they never do that, really, with, like, the uh, multi-platform games. I mean, PSN's always kind of like... Well, PSN in general, I think, sucks balls, but that's just me. Yeah, because they don't pay for shit. They just let it go. Just yeah, they just kind of like it's a free service, so it's just like, uh, what's the motivation, man? None. It's kind of like communism, you know? Yeah, well, we don't have as like a nearly as much as they like, you know, Xbox exclusive games and stuff. So it's like, yeah, yeah, but that's a different different. Story. I got, I got, yeah, that's a different story. But I gotta admit though, Killzone Three is kind of okay, but yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Grand Turismo Five is good. Yeah, G GT Five, yeah. Uh, but about the multiplayer, I thought it was uh. It's a uh, I don't know dude like the first first time I played like I, I got into a match and like I was on dome and you know dome's like the smallest map in the game and, like I started getting like owned constantly I died like four times in a row within like literally five seconds and I was like what the heck this isn't modern warfare dude the, the first game I joined was a, it ended up being a draw my only draw of the whole game it was the first wow. draw like we joined and I was with some like kids because I didn't get the game when it first came out I got like a week after it came out. And some kid was already first prestige, and like like my whole team was first prestige except me, which I was like level one, and the whole other team just left and they gave us a draw. And I was like on it was on like village, and I was like, man, this map's pretty big. And now I look at it, and it's like, oh, it's not that big anymore. There's, there's the awesome matchmaking servers putting first prestiges with level ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like the old freaking World at War servers. Like if you go into like a boot camp, there's this mode called boot camp, and it's for like level ones through like fives or whatever. I don't know, I can't remember. But there'll be like fifty somethings in there just owning noobs. And like freaking, I hate how when you're like you're joining a game when you have like a full party, and like not a full party, but like I have a mid full party, and you join like a you like join like search and destroy, and you join and as soon as the game ends when you, your team goes zero and four, and you like join. It's like wow. <laughs> it was like wow. Uh, but yeah, I thought the multiplayer. I'd probably give. Well, let's let me let me back up to the single player real quick. I'd probably give the single player like a seven out of ten. What about you, Pat? That's being generous. Uh, being generous, I'd probably get like a a six point five. Yeah, for the single player. And uh, the multiplayer, I'd probably give it like a uh, I'd probably give it like a six out of ten. That's just me personally. I mean, I've played all kinds of multiplayer games, and I just think it it wasn't really that top notch. 
Yeah, I mean, for for a year of developing, well, well probably longer than that of developing. Yeah, and, and you know, they've been making these series for, like, forever. You know, you'd think they'd have it on on the dot, like, the third time. Well, I mean, like, I like COD 4, like, compared to the Modern for 3 multiplayer, like, COD 4, like... It's just so it. simple, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, all those kill streaks and, like, specialists and... Like, we really didn't need that. I mean, we really don't, we didn't need it. Like, you couldn't, you, they could have been more improved on hit markers and lag compensation than on kill streaks and stuff. Yeah, true that. Uh, I thought the co-op, let's go, let me get into the co-op real quick. The co-op, basically, uh, you can play with a friend or a buddy or whatever, and you do different spec ops missions, just like Modern Warfare 2, if you've ever played that. But there's also a new mode called Survival Mode. It's kind of like, I wouldn't want to compare it to Zombies, because it's not really like Zombies. It's more like a Horde mode, where you have to like defend yourself from like waves of enemies, and I think it's alright. I mean, it's a good addition to the game. Uh, so, uh, what are your thoughts on the co-op, Pat? Um, well, I tried to gold all of that, but like I couldn't do work where you had to go through the, the courses. Like That always gets me. Like the uh, the training course things where you have to like go through and shoot like yeah, uh, targets and everything. Yeah, you got to shoot targets and stuff. Yeah, even with trying with like all the tutorials on YouTube and stuff, it just like, I just still couldn't do it. But um, the rest, of, some of most of them were actually pretty fun. I mean, they weren't too hard or too easy. But some of them, were, like one of the, like, a couple of the last ones where you start on the helicopter, it's like really hard. Uh, oh yeah. What is it, Boomtown or whatever? Um. Server crash was annoying. I never beat it though. Oh, server crash! Oh my god, that was so hard. Me and Andy beat that on like the hardest difficulty. It was so crazy. And Smackdown, we beat that too. But like the co-op mode, it's really fun to play with a friend if you play it on like the hardest difficulty because you gotta keep trying over and over. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty fun to play like when you have like an open night or something like when you just want to have fun. Yeah, we just want to like, chill out. Uh, what would you give the co-op as far as like a score? Um, I'd probably give it like an eight because it was actually pretty pretty fun to play. Oh, maybe yeah, I get it an eight too. It kept me entertained. It wasn't like it was kind of like playing and off for the rest of its life. Yeah, nice eight out of ten. That co-op, I'd probably get like the highest out of all of them. I mean, like, I'd give the co-op an eight out of ten, a multiplayer a six out of ten, the single player a seven. I mean, that's all being very generous, of course. What's your What's your take on Spec Ops like survival instead of zombies and stuff compared to that? Oh, compared to zombies, uh, I don't know, it's alright, I mean, I personally like zombies better, I mean, I'm a zombies, yeah. like, fanatic. Yeah, so am I. Yeah, got unleashed my uh, inner nerd, but, uh... <laughs> I was kind of upset with the C4 dogs, I was like, wow, suicidal dogs, it was kind of, <laughs> kind of scared me there. Yeah, I was like, okay, lol, what? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> alright, well, uh, I think that's about gonna do it for us, uh, anything you wanna say to, uh, people watching Pop? Um, thanks for watching, pretty much. Yeah, alright, well, thanks, guys. Uh, I'll be about it. So, uh, this is Gilly signing out. Peace.